What a lineup. What a lineup. Um, Denmark, Sveri Nielsen, the Cuban, Fournier Rodriguez, Robbie Manson. What a pace. He's got the uh, world's best time holder. Then the two Germans next to each other, Nasco and Zeidler, who will be the fastest. Chettel Porsche from Norway on the outside lane. And uh, it is one incredible lineup. And uh, Andre Sinek, if you're watching us back in the Czech Republic, you won three weeks ago in Belgrade. We hope you're enjoying watching these athletes. Sverry Nielsen from Denmark, 24 years of age, relative youngster. And California Rodriguez, second time we've seen him. It's great to see him in Europe. And, uh, well, there is one of the most exciting faces in the world of rowing, coached by Noel Donaldson, who coached uh, Murray and Bond, Kiwi pair, the 20 years old of uh, Rob Manson. Diminutive figure. Not like this man, Tim Ola Nasca, fantastic form he showed in the semi-finals yesterday. Beat Oli Zeidler and Chettle Borsch in that semi-final. One of the most talented boat movers in the world of sculling today. But here is a rowing sensation. Robbie Manson burst on the field last year from New Zealand. This man burst on the field this year to take bronze in Belgrade, the bulk of Oli Zeidler. And let's not forget Chettle Borsch. He's put an entry into the Diamond Skulls at Henley this year, so he fancies his chances there. But this is about what he will do at the World Cup. Chettle Borsch, the 28-year-old Norwegian, took a bronze medal with Olaf Tufta in the Olympics in Rio in the Double Skulls. Denmark, Cuba, New Zealand, Germany 2, Germany 1, Norway. So Kettle Borsch coming forwards very late on that call. Attention. They're all ready to go. They hear the attention. Square blades. Oh, what a start. Oh, that what is amazing. What a start amazing. from Tim Olin Nasker. He just leapt out of the start, particularly compared really to Oliver Ziedler beside him, the other German sculler, as we uh, will tell you later, less experienced in the boat. But uh, here we see... Uh, Angel Fournier Rodriguez, such a strong powerhouse in this boat, and he's got away well. But it's Oli Nasker in the centre in that number four boat that's got the early lead. That's the race done and dusted on the first stroke, isn't it, Greg? I what don't think Oli's it is, no, do? Martin. It's not. And uh, what about Robbie Manson? Uh, he's ready to sit back in the field, but he doesn't want to give too much away. And uh, we see Oli Nasker already has clear water um, as we look at these colours. Right in the foreground, uh, Kettle Borsch. Zeidler's coming back into it. He's moving quite well. Maybe he's just so cool and just relaxed, but uh, nobody could take away from uh, this man, Tim Arlenasca, that Rudy Gazelshoff hands a scholar, 22 years of age. I mean, he, he's, he's not the youngest in the race, but he's pretty young. And uh, Chettle Borsch, with his very distinctive style, um, first saw him in a single, I think, back in the World Cup in 2013. And uh, he's always been quick. Well, we've got Kettle Borsch at the bottom of the screen here for Norway. Um, he's showing in second place. And uh, we've still got Oli Nasker up there in the lead as the crews are coming up here towards 500 metres. Here we see Norwegian. Loads of experience. He got the uh, gold in the double skull back in 2013, now having a go in the single. Yeah, coached by Lars Johan Flodin. And uh, that is a lead that Tim Arlenowski has got. Zeidler's getting back on him. Robbie Manson, we still haven't seen his form. He's going to have to do something special, but that is a fantastic lead. Tim Olenoska is absolutely flying. 137 through the first quarter. Well, Oli Nasker was a bit of a sensation last year, a surprise to us, wasn't he? Having won the under-23s in 2016, um, getting into the single skull at Senior World Championships and doing so well. But here we see uh, his big competition from Germany. Oli Ziedler, a former swimmer, only been involved in rowing for about 18 months, or there's plenty of it that runs in the family. And how about this? He's up into second place. That's sensational. Well, 137 is sub world's best time pace, Greg. I think Robbie Manson went through in 138 in Poznan. I mean, it was a, a hell of a win there where Robbie Manson set that world's best mark at 630. But 137, I mean, he's not going to do 137 which Manson did for the second 500. But, well, here uh, we see Robbie Manson, his stroke rate, not surprisingly, up at 39. We're used to seeing him up at that kind of rate. But um, I think usually we'd expect to see him a little bit nearer the front. We've got him 14 metres off Oli Nasca at the moment. It's clear water, and he really needs to do something about that. So the coolness of the young German, uh, his mother 
uh, Fraser Ungermath got those uh, Olympic gold medals running, I think, for East Germany. His grandfather, Johannes Faber, was in the famous for the Bulls of Constance. He chose to go to swimming, not to rowing. He's got a sister who rows in the under-23s, though, and uh, he is one sensation. But uh, Tim Ola Nasca has found a little bit of extra horse, hasn't he? Well, I think he just found a little bit more then as well. I think um, it almost felt like Oli Ziedler in lane five was coming back, and Oli Nasca just responded to it and said, no, I don't want you to have an overlap. I'm going to take out another ten strokes. It's an incredibly fast race, 3.19. It's only three seconds off world's best time. Look at that. He's, he's really impassive as he goes through. Cap set back on his head. He's just lost a bit of pace there. This is really the race for who's going to be the German single in the World Championships. I think that's why there's so much resting on it. And uh, Robbie Manson just fighting to get through uh, Oli Zeidler, who's here as German one because he took that bronze medal. Tim Ola Nasco, I think, is away and gone. And the gold medal will be his if he can keep this incredible pace going. Well, it's an incredible pace. It's still a long way to go. Still 800 metres to go. Too early to call whether he's necessarily got that gold medal around his neck. But um, Oli Nasca here at the front of the field, he's still sculling nicely, really no let up. Robbie Manson needs to start moving now. Zeidler's coming back on a bit of a charge and uh, just a well wish to Matt Smith, vice president, who's been under the weather, not able to be at this regatta. Matt, we hope if you're watching in Rome, you're enjoying this presentation, this fantastic singles race. Robbie Manson there. The man who took, set the world on fire from Wairau Rowing Club in New Zealand. Coached by Noel Donaldson, who also coached Kiwi Pair. He's been going really well in the speed order races in New Zealand. So, you know, he knows he's quick, but this is another whole other ball game. Well, he's up to 40 strokes a minute. The question is whether he's got somewhere else to go. The other question is whether Tim Olinaska is going to start to run out of uh, energy as we come into the last 500. Still plenty of racing left in this. And uh, both the crews um, are keeping it pretty tight here for the silver and whether they're actually going to come, home, come on and take Oli Nasca on for the gold. I think Manson's got half a second on these scullers in the last quarter, but that's it. The other scullers are really like Tim Oli Nasca. He's got the pace, he's got the poise, he's got the control. This was a man who won junior gold, under 23 gold, under 23 gold. Is Oli Zeidler coming back? Well, here, Manson goes Manson. Is. here goes Manson. This is his moment. If he's going to make an impression, he's got to do it now. He started moving. He's now got the overlap back. The big question is how long is he going to be able to sustain this burst? And will Oli Nasca have any answer to it? They're still in the white boys, so there's still more than 250 metres to go. It's still 300 metres to go. Robbie Manson could still do this if Oli Nasca gives him any sort of a, any sort of an opportunity. Oli Nasca is racing Zeidler for the German single slot. I don't know if they're going to race them in Lucerne again. Is Zeidler coming back into it a little bit? Is he one of the quickest moving boats? It's still a bit of an overlap. There is Manson. There is Nasca. What a sensational spurt by the Kiwi from Wara Rowing Club. Absolutely amazing that he's even got back into contention as Nasca looks to his left to keep his bows ahead of the German Seidler. But Robbie Manson is on fire. Well, Manson's the man with the pedigree. He's the one who holds world best time. And he's arrived here from New Zealand and he's going for it here. He's been going at a high rate for a long time. Oli Nasca looks like he's responding now to the push. But the New Zealander looks like he's going to have it as we come in here to about the last 100 metres or so. But anything can still happen. So it's Manson in the gold medal position. Nasca in silver. Oli Zeidler desperately trying to get on. He's got an overlap, but it's not enough. Robbie Manson, what a sensational last call. He takes gold. Tim Ola Nasca takes the silver medal, beats his compatriot. Oli Zeidler shakes his head. Checker Balls finishes in fourth. Over on the far side, Sfera Nielsen and the world silver medalist, Angel Fournier Rodriguez, could not live with that sensational pace. And uh, that was an amazing race and the time of 6.44. Well, it's 14 seconds slower than the world record, but in this pace, amazing. They were so quick through the off. And I wonder if that is the German single slot done and dusty. Well, what a race from Robbie Manson, who saw Oli Nasca go a long way out and stay a long way out and looked, he looked to have it done, as you said, Martin, with about 800 to go. Um, you were looking to hang the medal around his neck. I was. But um, it just shows that uh, I guess these New Zealand crews, they settle into a pace and then they can step it on and on and on and Robbie Manson's delivered. He's gutted, he's gutted. He's gutted he hasn't beaten Oli Nasca and uh, he wanted to be the German single skull.
21 years of age, the most sensational find in board run since Robbie Manson, and the lad is gutted because, you know, maybe that means he's not going to be the single skull this year. Yeah, but it's an interesting thing in terms of his overall development, whether they might put him into the under-23s, let him have a year at under-23s, let him go and uh, see if he can dominate that, and uh, let Olinaska do the main single, and then we'll be watching it all again this time next year. It's a good shout. Would you want him in the German quad, though? I think at this stage of his career, if he's only been sculling for about 18 months, just looking at him there, I think you might be better to let him have a bit more time in the single before trying to force him into a crew boat, where he just needs to be that little bit more dynamic and move a bit quicker with others. Robbie Manson there. I think the thing is, you know, when you've got a lad up at 39, 40 strokes a minute, you think, where's he got to go? And he had half a second on, on NASCAR on the semi-times, but I, I just didn't expect him to take you know, almost two seconds out of the German in the last quarter, but such determination. He's not got the biggest engine, you know, he's six foot two, little look there to check, he knows he's coming through. I love that, you know, head-to-head -head sculling contest. There's Zeidler, those three just well ahead of the field. No, I think we've seen really since the Rio Olympics almost people breaking the rules in terms of rates. Some of these Italian crews, um, the Hungarian Cox pair we saw last year, and we saw it there. Robbie Manson able to raise the stroke rate from his cruising.